set up in the stand right now. I've got a doe and two fawns. I came in here with my uh, with my tethered phantom saddle setup. Climbed up in this tree as a uh, primarily an observation sit. I can see almost this entire bean field, all the edges except for that far edge and this far edge off to my right, but I can see this whole bottom. I can see the top up here. And uh, I'm just looking to see if any bucks are using this bean field. I've got a big, big bedding area behind me. And uh, I'm hoping that these bucks work out of this bedding area right into this corner. If they do, I've got about a 40 yard shot to this corner, anywhere from 18 to 80 yards out front so um, I know there's a couple of good bucks that bed behind me it's only six o'clock and uh, I've already got a doe and two fawns down in the corner feeding so this should be perfect hopefully one of these bucks move in here and I can get a shot but this is an all-new set for me I've never sat here before on this property I've hunted this property for a long time and I've always wanted to uh, try an observation sit somewhere on this field and uh, I finally found the tree to do it. So I've got the perfect wind. We've got a north, northeast wind, which is just perfect. It blows out of that bedding area, kind of crossways to these beans. So um, yeah, hopefully, hopefully something plays together tonight. It should be fun. starting to lose some camera light but uh, I got two
two more does coming across the field. In total, I've seen 14 deer out of this sit. Oh. They've all come out to the edge of the beans and kind of worked their way back and forth, which is perfect. That's exactly what I, what I wanted to know out of this setup. Um, I say this was primarily a uh, observation sit to see what kind of deer were using these fields. And uh, so far, no big bucks. One, uh, one decent buck, just good potential, good eight point. But uh, unless something steps out here, last light, uh, nothing but sure. What's up guys? I had a big shooter daylight two days ago in the morning on this field. He was working his way down the edge and where I hunted yesterday was right next to the camera where he daylighted, but the wind is not right for that stand and I think he's bedding back behind me in this really thick stuff. On my way in um, to get the wind right, I kinda had to come along the edge of the thick stuff. I had the perfect wind, it was blowing out of the bedding into my face. So I just really slowly worked my way in and uh, right off the edge of the bedding, I could see there was like three or four big scrapes and a big rub. I'm hoping that buck is working his way out of his bedding, popping into this corner. There were two does in the field when I got here, so uh, I'm hoping hoping that buck works in. He's a really, really nice deer. Um, last year he was big as a three and a half, and he's four and a half now, I think. I'm pretty sure he's four and a half, and he just blew into a giant. Hopefully I can get a crack at him. Like I say, he daylighted two days ago, so he might be kind of still on a little bit of an early season routine, September 29th, and uh, Hopefully he holds that routine, comes back to this field, and I can get a shot. So anyway, what's up guys? I'm all set up in the tree. Last night I had my big shooter come through, and uh, it was eight minutes past legal shooting light, so I had to just watch him. He came in and made a scrape right underneath the stand at 10 yards. I had to just watch him make the scrape, and couldn't do anything about it. Like I say, it was past legal shooting light. So anyway, I came in here this morning and just I snuck all the way down here with the wind in my face. And uh, I got really, really close to where I'm almost positive that deer's bedding, like where he came from last night. I'm set up really close to the edge of that. And uh, anyway, I'm just hand holding my camera filming with my GoPro because I'm just hand holding my camera and filming with my GoPro for the shot because I don't want to make any more noise or movement than I have to in here. It's really, really tight quarters and at, at any point he could pop out. So anyway, there's that big shooter, and then there's a couple other deer that I know use this bottom who are pretty good shooters as well. Um, so, anyway. Hopefully I have one of these bucks come through this bottom. I can get a shot, but... Like I said, just trying to, trying to be quiet not make too much noise down here. I'm, I'm really close to their bedding, so anyway, we'll see what happens. I just smoked one of the bucks. <laughs> the old RX-7-8. I should have had my GoPro rolling. I double clutch my GoPro. I'm gonna have to look back on the GoPro and see if I got that shot on film.
I don't care. I just bumped him. Right down in this shooting lane right here. 22 yards. I'm hearing something behind me. I hit that buck right in this lane and he took off. He tore out of here. Get this GoPro off. Alright guys, I'm standing just past where I shot him. I hit him right down here. I just walked up here. I've got blood all over right up in front of me. I'll show you here. But I just had to take my jacket off. I was getting hot. I've got blood right there. Bright, frothy, pink lung blood. That's what we want. And it is just painted from here. I think I got top of the heart too. He's pumping pretty good. Broke it off. Oh yeah, that penetrated good. Looked like you've got blood of a trail right there. There he is. Oh, he died on his feet. Oh yeah, you done. Zoom. Yeah. What a hammer. Oh my goodness. Let's go. <laughs> Oh, there ain't no ground shrinkage there. Holy cow, that is a big deer. Oh, mature too, four and a half years old, at least. I mean, look at the, look at the mass on his bases. The old dagger tine. Big nine point. Heck yes, dude, let's go. Oh. Just an absolute hammer, Nebraska deer. He's got this sweet dagger right here. Big, tall eight point with a big dagger. I love him. So freaking pumped on this deer, holy cow. What a hammer. He's the one who was hitting the scrape last night and uh, it just worked out perfect. Came in this morning and killed him on his way back to his bed. Sure wish I'd have got the shot on film, but that's secondary to what I truly love, and that is hunting. I hope that resonates with you guys, but can't ask for anything better than that. Big old bases on him. Knobby bases. He hadn't really started rubbing too much yet, just a little bit. But man. He is pretty, super pretty cape. He's gonna make a really, really cool looking mount. Figured I'd just show you guys what I got. It's really hard to do this solo, but that is what I came in here for. I got him. That's probably the most satisfying thing is finding a deer, figuring out where he's bedding, coming in and killing him on a strategic game plan. Yesterday, um, I saw this deer making a scrape. He was eight minutes past shooting light, so I couldn't shoot him. I just had to watch him make a scrape, but uh, I knew where he was bedding. I knew he'd be coming back in this morning. I was hoping he would come back uh, during shooting hours, which he did. I shot him at 8.06 a.m. on his way back to bed. That's how you want to do it, guys. 
freaking pumped on this deer. Couldn't be happier. Thank you guys so much for watching. Again, I apologize I didn't get the shot on film, but like I say, that is secondary to my passion, which is um, ultimately hunting. I do enjoy recording this stuff and sharing it with you guys. Um, but like I say, sometimes you get them, sometimes you don't. And I just, I am so blessed to have this deer. God is good to me. Thank you, Lord. And that's it. I think we're checking out. Appreciate you guys. We'll catch you on the next one. Peace.